Blame It on Platypus, starring Greg Anthony Dabrowski, Brina Palak, Marcus Fort, and Boogie Fuzz as the Platypus. Come on down for supper, boys. Where's the platypus at, Tommy? Probably still eating my dust. You know I don't like you boys competing, especially since Petey only has one testicle. It's about time, young man. Yes, sir. Sorry. Would you like to tell me why you're late for dinner again? Yes, sir. On account, Tommy pushed me into the wall and well, I... Stop right there. You're blaming your brother again for your tardiness? Well, we were racing and... So you lost again? Yes, sir. I see. So would you care to tell everyone here what I told you about competition? You said that winners never lose. That's not all I said. Yes, sir. You said winners never lose and losers don't eat dinner. Good night, Petey. I said good night. You trying to get yourself grounded on top of being a loser? So how was school today, Tommy? Good. After practice, coach said that I... Hang on, Tommy. Marianne, is there a reason why my roll isn't buttered? I'm sorry, honey. With doing the laundry, cleaning the house, making the boys lunches for tomorrow, grocery shopping, changing the oil in your car, and on top of that, making dinner for tonight, I must have forgotten. Well, I suggest you plan your day accordingly so this doesn't happen again. That's one week, young man. <laughs> <laughs> So I said, look, Bob, it was like that when I got there. I hope this doesn't affect your golf outing. Nah, Bob's a dildo. He'll win his $10 back from last week. So where are the boys at? Petey's in the yard cleaning up dog shit. You know, you think that boy would realize we don't have a dog. I wish we knew who kept putting him in there. Petey, there's some more shit for you. And Tommy, I assume he's upstairs getting ready for a big date? No, he and Dickie are upstairs getting ready for their camping trip. Camping again? I'm sick of those two camping. I'm going to have to have a talk with Tommy. Talk about what? He's spending entirely too much time with Dickie. Weekends are for playing sports and getting ass. Your dad's a drunk. Hey, Platypus, go upstairs and get your brother. Petey, don't give your father that look. I thought Dad wasn't going to call me Platypus anymore, Mom. Well, you did promise, Walter. Oh, I'm sure if Petey asked me nicely, I'll stop. Dad, will you stop calling me Platypus? <laughs> no. Now go up and get your brother. <laughs> Hey, Tommy, Dad wants to see you downstairs. You don't go washing that oil off just yet, Dickie. I'll be right back. What are you staring at, kid? Quit making that face. Well, I'm not making a face, Dickie. Relax, Goofy. I'm just teasing you. So I guess you're going to go through a ton of diapers tonight since Tommy's not going to be home. No, I'm done with diapers. Now I sleep on rubber sheets. Whatever, kid. I just know you'll be scared. Why would I be scared? I guess you haven't heard. Glad Hen Gary's back in town. He is? You don't even know who he is. Of course I do. Well then who is he? That's what I thought. Listen up, kid. Glad Hen Gary, he's gonna be your worst nightmare. Go on. You're just trying to scare me. Okay, if you don't want to know. Quit being a creep, Dickie. Now is that any way to talk to someone that's gonna save your life? Okay, Dickie. Maybe you should just tell me a little bit. Just in case. Well, first off, Glad Hen Gary sneaks into your house. But only if your older brother's not around. How does he know all that kind of stuff? Don't worry, he knows. Now do you want me to finish or what? <laughs>